Ball uh, player Killian Bruder, Limerick native. 29 appearances last season. He is an imposing presence back there. And in the opposing penalty area, as Dan said, he scored five times last season. Here comes the talk now. And there might be a chance, and there is a chance. It's Robbie Benson. And Brendan Clark gets down to save. Just didn't catch it as cleanly, perhaps, as he would have wanted Benson. But the first real sighting of goal, and it's gone to the Lily Whites. Yeah, as you can see, the ball bounces through here to, to Rob. It's just behind him, a small big, and it's on his right. Here's Brendan Clark now. Now Slevin. Slevin has space to eat into. Dervin just has lifted that forward, and there's a chance here for Galway, and it's in. And it's well worked. And it's Ed McCarthy with the finish. And Dundalk opened up on 10 minutes. And it's some talk nil Galway one. Ed McCarthy with the goal. Yeah, you have to give Galway credit here. It's a great ball through to O'Sullivan. I think it was O'Sullivan, was it, who squared it into? But it's a great piece of play. You know, Dundalk have that high line. It's just caught cold here. We'll have a look now. Great first time ball through. Looking, lads, looking for the offside. Archie's looking for offside. No, it's a good goal. You have to give Galway credit there. Good finish. Ed McCarthy with the goal, and it's a uh, David Hurley David with the Hurley. centre. Great run, great ball back cross. Well executed by Galway United. Yeah, it's a good block, Andy Boyle. David Hurley with the corner kick, which he's taken short and gets it back. Hurley and puts it in, and that's stepped over, and it's off the post, and somehow that's not gone in. And that's collected by Shelby. And that's a huge let off for Dundalk. Shelburne, St. Pat's, Limerick, Sligo, Rovers, and Sporting Fingal. Long direct one forward towards O'Sullivan. And he Boyle wins that in the air. Helped on by Horgan. McCormick for Donnellan now. Donnellan wrapping that left foot around it. That's a dangerous one. Oh, and it's gone in. It's a brilliant goal. It's a brilliant goal by Ian Durbin. Dundalk won't be pleased, but Durbin is, and goal we are. It's Dundalk nil, goal way two. Yeah, you have to give Galway credit. It's a fantastic ball by the left back Donnellan. Fantastic ball. A just A Dervin just had to touch it over to goalkeeper Shelby. Disappointed from the dog's point of view, but uh, yeah, you'll see now. It's fantastic a brilliant ball. goal by A Dervin. Really clever flick into the far corner, and what a good ball it was by Donnellan as well yeah. to pick out the run day. Oh, great ball! This he just had to get a touch over the keeper, but he like had Donnellan having the time. I feel like you had it. <laughs> yes, Horrocks is there, I suppose. It's just unfortunate. It's a great finish. You have to give Galway credit again. It's another good goal. Fantastic quality in both the ball and the finish. Yeah. Moment. Every time Dundalk have looked threatening, Hoy's been in the middle of it. And he's still hungry. He's dropping deep, getting the ball. He's picking out some nice passes and afraid not to continue. Bradshaw finds a good pocket of space and now finds Davies. Davies crossing. Who's it going to. Has it gone in? No. Well, it was so difficult to see exactly who that ball had pinballed off and where it had finished up, but it finishes up in the hands of Brendan Clark Day. Yeah, it's another great ball by Archie across the back four. I think it's come off a of Galway man. Unfortunately for Galway, it's straight into Clark's hands. Yeah, exactly. Taking plenty of time over this Galway. Conor McCormick takes it short. Hurley, McCormick again. McCormick, cross in. One well in there by Bradshaw to break for McCarthy with the oh. shot. Oh, what an effort by Ed McCarthy. And that's thundered against the foot of the post in a way to safety. And another let off for Dundalk. You know what? It's a really clever set piece from Galway. They've done a short to take out the defender. I think it was Horgan. Shelby Put with up. the goal kick. Stephen O'Donnell looks pensive on the Dundalk line. Horgan's header into midfield. First time by Derby. And now there's a chance here for O'Sullivan. He's in. O'Sullivan. That's a really good save by Shelby. Fine. Galway, they're leaving the left side kind of freeish. Who's Davies now? Davies up to Elliot. Elliot controls. Horgan. Elliot again. McGuckin is in the middle on the move. It's too high for him. Jamie Walker is arriving. Walker down for Benson with the shot, and that's curling and curling away from Brendan Clark's goal. Yes, positive. Another good ball into the box. I thought Walker could have come onto this and hit it first time. 
Yeah, although he's chose to set Robbie, Robbie's proven track record Here's in the Sam box. Durant. Durant to Scott High, yes. To Kazim. David Hurley just clips that in behind for Carl O'Sullivan to run onto. Here's O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan shot across the face of Brendan Clark's goal. And behind. You know what it looked like? Hurley had no option there, and he's done extremely well to find Sullivan. And Sullivan has the confidence now to go, just to have a go. It wasn't too far and off at all. Still has it. For a moment, looked like he'd lost his bearings, but High has it. High lofts it in towards Ooh. Robbie Mahan. High boot perhaps in there yeah. by a goalway player. Do Dock still have it? McGuckin lays it off. Here's Doyle with the shot, and that's across the goal. And it's pushed wide by Brendan Clark. Crowd of players, it came through, could only have seen it late. Yeah, it's come to Doyle on the edge of the box. You're, you're looking at him to go on and hit with his right. Obviously, he's left footed. He's cut back inside and he's got a good shot off. Good save by Clark. Boyle to Walker. Dundalk continuing to, to play here as their manager would want. And there's the final whistle from Gavin Colfer. And Galway United have come all the way across to County Loud to Dundalk and they've taken all three points here this evening. A really, really good performance, very solid from John Caulfield's side. And when the quality was needed in the opposing penalty area, they found it in that first half with those two goals.